More than 150 people have been injured in violent protests in Tel Aviv between Eritrean asylum seekers and police. Officers in riot gear and on horseback tried to control the demonstration as protesters broke through barricades and hurled stones at police. Police in Tel Aviv had been warned that there might be violence, but they were taken by surprise. Hundreds of Eritrean asylum seekers marched on the Eritrean embassy in Tel Aviv to protest against the dictatorship back home. When police tried to prevent them from reaching there, it turned violent. More than 150 people were injured, including 30 police officers. Israeli police fired tear gas, rubber bullets and stun grenades. Live rounds were also fired in the air, but a number of victims were reportedly treated in hospital with gunshot wounds. To my sorrow, since the morning, the two sides did not keep their commitments and did stand by the license to protest given to them. They arrived here since the early morning with the intention to sabotage the event. We were deployed with reinforcements since this morning and also overnight because we had information they planned to burn down the club. Mid-afternoon and the clashes started again between Eritrean opposition and pro-government supporters. Cars were smashed and they broke shop windows. Police told Tel Aviv residents to stay indoors. The people that support uh, the Eritrean, the dictator, they come and they scare them. They come and they fight with them on the street. This is not a fight against an idea or against the system. This is a fight for their lives. By late afternoon, the situation was under control and many of the protesters were arrested. Similar protests have taken place across the world recently. Hospitals in Tel Aviv declared mass emergency situations and one said that they hadn't seen a single incident like this since the second Palestinian Intifada 20 years ago. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News in Israel.